Making big workshop cabinets on a small CNC can be tricky. Limited work surface means large panels often just won't fit. That's why we design modular, stackable cabinets that you can build entirely on an entry-level CNC. You can maximize your material, customize your setup and even reuse leftover sheets from other projects. Today we will test the concept by building a few more cabinets and walk you through the whole process from CNC cutting to assembly. The concept is simple. Instead of building one large cabinet, we split it in multiple sections. This breaks down the big panels into smaller, manageable pieces. Perfect for hobby level CNC's. You can stack the modules in any order that fits your workshop, with different sizes and layouts giving you full flexibility for your own setup. We are using the Onefinity CNC, which is on the larger side of hobby machines, but the parts we are cutting are fairly small. Perfect for smaller machines like Xcar or Shapeoko. The side panels for the double module are the largest components, everything else is smaller. Which makes the CNC cutting simple and efficient. Once the first batch is done, we can run the CNC on the next sheet while trimming the edges on the previous batch. Partial automation saves a lot of time. Next, we cut the drawer fronts from white laminated plywood, which we had left over from the modular workbench build. Trimming the edges while the CNC works on the next components keeps things moving smoothly. Finally, we cut the parts for the drawers themselves from 9mm plywood. Drawers require more material than most people expect. For this two cabinet setup, we use just under two standard sized sheets. But since the drawers aren't visible, you can save costs using MDF or particle board, which are perfect for hidden storage. With all the parts ready, it's time to assemble. We start with the base frame, which includes a built-in toe kick area. The side panels are joined to the floor strips and bottom reinforcement. And we secure the joints with screws to make sure everything is sturdy enough to support the modules we will stack on top. With the bases made, we can position them where the cabinets will go. Now we can start assembling the smallest modules. The floor panel slips neatly between the side panels and the soft tops are added followed by the back panel. Since the back panel is made from 9mm plywood, we pre-drill the screw holes to prevent splitting the veneers. Once the module is ready, it slides neatly on top of the base frame. The floor panel fits perfectly between the smaller floor strips, locking everything together. Simple, beautiful and effective, without any extra components or complicated joinery. Minimalistic solutions like this always look simple but they are deceptively tricky to get right. Even after building more than 350 projects, it took me multiple attempts to get the stackable joint concept just right. It's one of those satisfying little design problems where everything clicks without needing extra parts. The double module follows the same assembly steps. Frankly, the only difference is the size of the side and back components. The joinery and the floor component sizes are the same. This allows us to create many different cabinet configurations or even stack them higher than you normally would. Complete creative freedom. After placing the last module on the tower, we can rearrange the sections that would work best for our workshop. When we have the module layouts figured out, we ran into a small problem. The dust collection tube is in the way, which means we have to make some adjustments. Therefore, I'm marking the collection tube position on the cabinet components and then we can take the top module to make the necessary cuts. Looking back, I probably should have made the dust cabinet a bit taller so the collection tube wouldn't get in the way of the cabinets. But with a little bit of bandsaw and jigsaw cuts, we have the parts modified and can reassemble the top module.
After adding the assembly back to the stack, we can slide it into the place perfectly. The cut in the sub top is a little generous, but it works. Now we can secure the modules together. This is super simple. Since the lower module walls overlap with the upper module floor component, we can simply add a screw at each corner and everything forms one rigid assembly. With the modules in place, we transferred the tube's position on the countertop sheet and made the necessary cuts. Now we can pre-drill the holes for easy mounting. One of the nice little touches is that the narrow pieces at the top of each module double as both floor extensions for the lower modules and subtops for the upper ones. With the countertop in place, we can move to the drawers and door panel for one of the modules. Since we didn't have big enough white sheets left over from the workbench build to cut the door panel, we made it out of the regular plywood. So I decided to paint it blue. The same color we used when adding the design detail to the workbench project. This will help the new cabinets match the modular workbench setup. While the paint is drying, we can start assembling the drawers. The drawers themselves are pretty straightforward. And we are not using any store-bought slides which keeps things simple and saves a bit of money. The bottom drawers have the floor and back trapped between the side components. And the sliding drawers require attaching the walls to the larger floor panel. After assembling the drawer bodies, we attach the fronts, pre-drill the screw holes and secure the joints. The last touch, adding the handles. I've shared the free DX save files for these on aribobox.com, so you can make some for your cabinet project. When the last drawer is in place, we can attach the door panel. It requires securing the hinge fittings to the doors and the cabinet wall. Now we can simply pop the door in place and add the handle. The cabinets are a great addition to the workshop setup. The only remaining adjustment is filling the gap between the new setup and the CNC table, which we solve by moving the bandsaw cabinet into place. The modular cabinet project turned out to be a really satisfying build. I like how you can stack the modules however you like, even taller than the standard cabinet. And the best part is that this design lets you upgrade your workshop even if your CNC's work area is limited. If you want to try this concept yourself, all the project files are available on aribobox.com. Thanks for watching, stay creative, and I'll see you next time.